Okay, what do you need to know before you buy a house? <clears throat> the main thing that you need to understand about a home loan is the way the interest works and the amount of money that you're actually going to have to pay for the house when you buy it. So, I'm just going to jump right into it. Let's say you buy a house for $100,000, okay? And you have pretty decent credit. You use the bank, and let's say you get somewhere around a 4% loan or so. Um, you're actually going to pay 250, usually 250 to $300,000 over a 30 year period for a $100,000 loan. Okay, so you need to think about that really hard before you go buying a house through the bank. If you can, try to find a house that's for sale by owner um, and make sure that you look into the contract and figure out exactly how much you're going to be paying over the period of time that they're that they're offering. So you know, do some math before you jump into into the payment. So you know, let's say for instance your your house payment is uh, you know three hundred dollars a month, which is ridiculously low. But let's say it was three hundred dollars a month. For 30 years, what does that come out to? Let's look here. Um, 300 times 12 times 30 years. That's $108,000 over 30 years. So if you pay $300 a month, that's $108,000 over 30 years. So if you got a $100,000 house and you're paying $600 a month, that means you're going to pay $216,000 for a $100,000 house. Okay? So there's two ways to get around it. Number one is, like I said earlier, get with uh, for sale by owner. Work it out with the owner. Um, if they give you you know, a 10% flat interest rate, it would actually be way more in your benefit to do that than to do a bank loan, which is compounded daily. So you want to look into that. It's very, very important. The other way would be, you know, something that hardly anyone does anymore, but save your money to the point where you can pay your land off completely or your land and your house completely. That way you're gonna save all that money on that interest. You're not gonna have to borrow that money from the bank and then have them, you know, basically bleed you dry because they're gonna take every bit that they can, you know. I mean, it just gets worse the more money that you have invested into your home. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar house, you end up paying two to three hundred thousand. If you have a three hundred thousand dollar house, you're going to pay six to nine hundred thousand dollars for that house, and it's usually closer to the seven fifty mark. I appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I hope this helps somebody out. Y'all take it easy.